it's been quite the journey, but my Dyson DC-17 gifted to me by Mr. Palmer's 786 is done. And I've been itching to try it, but I dare not until I've shown it to you completely restored. There's not a drop of mould left on this now. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner, Dyson, and American chums. How are you today? This has come up ever so well. In fact, it's been done for a little over a month now. Actually, the cable hasn't gone mouldy again. I cleaned that off well enough. I cleaned the original American plug up. Very nicely indeed. I found an upholstery tool from my DC-18. I don't actually have a spare angled crevice tool. And obviously I'd need the special dusting brush anyway. So tools is still a little bit iffy. I also borrowed the wand end cap from my DC-18. Again, I don't think I've got one of those. But that's not too important really. On an imported American machine that's very, very rare... You don't fully care about tools that you can find if you can be bothered to look hard enough. In here is absolutely spotless now. The filter washed up like brand new. It even still smells fresh as well. So that's good. Again, I probably need to re-soak just this filter cover. It was the only part that didn't come off. And that was despite a good wash. And even rubbing it with my fingers, it's not great. So I think the next time I need to soak another vacuum cleaner, like during its own refill, I might pop this off and stick it in with it for a day. And all that dirt will rinse off the bin. Ooh. It's very, very strange. I've never seen a cyclone design quite like it. I'll try and flick some pictures past your screen. But yeah, there's two big cones in the middle and then all of the other ones on the outside and it, it seems to have very good suction indeed i can't quite quantify it in any real way but it's very powerful it's also very quiet moving down well the piece de resistance and what made this take a month is my brush roll look that i bought it came from america it came the other day actually and the bristles are so, so stiff. I'm looking forward to trying it out immensely. That's why I've had to film it first. Because I know that it's going to just drag so much stuff out. That's such a stiff brush roll indeed. Under here sits the post motor filter. And it now has a Dyson filter pad hot glued to the housing. Because the original cartridge filter was completely knackered and i was looking at a good 35 pounds to have that from the us the brush roll cost me 28 i don't think that's too bad but i'm not paying 30 pounds for a post motor filter what else to notice well when i turn it on the brush roll will start to spin i haven't put the switch back wherever it sits under here it's an ever such a tricky machine to take apart so again one day I might fix that, but for now I'm just so excited to use it with its new brush roll because I haven't done so yet. So we may as well start on the orange carpet. We'll see the fluff more. Let me go and get me 110 volts plugged in and we'll give it a go. So here we are with the electricity coursing through its veins, ready and raring to go. What I'm going to do first is turn it on and then very quickly so I can turn off the brush roll with. Crikey, that's higher than I thought. The switch. The motor is so quiet. It's a 1400 watt US motor. And it's so much quieter than our 1400 watt UK ones. Have a listen when the brush roll stops. It's, there's no high pitch yet.
<laughs> oh my goodness, look how much it picked out of this rug. That, you can feel that. Oh, you can feel that pulling itself forward. Let's try a different style of carpet. Let's try a much deeper pile. And this shouldn't be too bad because being built for the American market, obviously they have deeper pile carpet. So... <laughs> That's almost difficult to push, doesn't help, as you can see, that it sucks the rug up and then when it lets go it bangs the head down and doesn't get on ah, very well. But again, we have not as much, but obviously this was a brand new offcut and we heavily vacuumed it. As you know, I'm quite interested to see what it's going to do to my IKEA rug. Because it's got an annoying stiff pile, which the right vacuum cleaners love. The wrong ones hate. I reckon this is going to love it. This thing is nuts, absolutely nuts. It's so powerful. A lot of this is probably that brush on. I mean, it's all just fluff. They just ripped out the carpets. There probably wasn't an awful lot of grit anyway. But this brush roll, I wouldn't want to use this on a delicate carpet. I'm not going to lie. It is very, very stiff indeed. But yes, it's incredible. It's almost a shame that it's 110 volts because it does mean that I've got to plug it in to the transformer. And although most of that adds to its charm, it looks exactly the same size as our Dyson DC25 motor. It would fit. In fact, the switches and the recline switch, which currently doesn't work, are also 110 to 250 volt agnostic. Problem is, the brush for our motor is 110 volts only and I've not seen a brush for our motor like it before so that's going to be the only thing that would ever stop one of these from being you know imported but when it does this <laughs> it's pulling itself forward I'm just holding the cable If you ever get offered the chance to have one of these, do not turn it down. And maybe import a brush roll, because I can't help but think that a lot of its performance is due to this brand new brush roll. It hasn't gone soft 
or distorted. So there we go. This is certainly a candidate that's now high up on my list for a Becco Cleans video. I'm, I'm very tempted. We're currently in coronavirus lockdown. I'm going to ask or get back in touch with the lady who let me into Loot the Church for my Christmas Day 2020 video. 2019 even. Oh, imagine what this would be like on that thick red carpet. It might have to happen. But for now, it is done. Very rare addition to my collection. Certainly one that I'm going to keep for a long while. It is lovely, lovely. Why didn't we get these in the UK? In fact, in the UK, I think at about the same sort of time, Dyson was still flogging the DC-14. And you can see the family resemblance. Oh. Oh, I tightened up my tripod, that was silly. You can see the family resemblance straight away. But, wow, is this DC-17 such a different beast. It's, it even feels lighter in my hands than the DC-14. It feels lighter to push. In fact, I think they're about the same weight size, but crikey, the weight of this DC-14 is a lot more heavier in your hands, wow, that's quite something. There's maybe a DC-14 versus DC-17 video that we just go back in a straight line with both of them and see what happens. I'll have to have somebody to help me film that to keep up with me. I'm sure I could persuade Mr. Hooverlocks with sweets and fags to come and help me out one day in the future so thank you very much for watching thank you very much to mr tayab from his youtube channel parman 786 i believe it is he does lots of mess tests and has a load of wicked vacuums as well and i have one of them so i and definitely this dc17 will see you soon bye bye